Hello boys and girls, welcome to Storytime. My name is Marie, and this is Carly, and this is Mason. I hope you can join us. So why don't we open with a prayer first, invite Jesus to be with us. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the beautiful stories you give us. Thank you for sending Jesus to die for us. We ask that you be with us and help us to learn these stories. In your name we pray. Amen. Our story time today, it's called Baby Moses. Baby Moses was a wee baby boy. His mother loved him and held him close. His father loved him and patted his fat cheeks. Sister Marian loved him and sang him, him happy songs. Little brother loved him and tickled his tiny toes. Never, never was a baby more loved than baby Moses. But the king where Moses lived was a wicked man. He said to his helpers, throw all the babies, all, all the baby boys into the river. Oh no, 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 said mother and held baby Moses closer. We'll never let anyone throw our baby into the river, said father. No, never, never, said Miriam. Little brother shook his head. No. We'll hide our baby, said mother. But baby Moses didn't like to be hidden away all day. He cry and cry. Miriam was afraid that the keen men will hear. So she went shh to baby Moses. She whispered, but he cried the louder. Oh, what can we do? Asked Miriam. We'll make a basket boat for baby Moses and hit him in the, in the rushes at the river's edge, said mother. They wove a tiny little basket and painted with pitch to keep it from leaking. Mother put a soft pillow in it. She laid baby Moses on the soft pillow. Wow, that's very clever. I think I got two pages in here. Early the next morning, so early, little brother was not yet awake. Mother and Miriam took the little boat with baby Moses in it down to the river. They floated in on the water. Tall rushes kept the, bu the basket boat from floating away. Mother left Miriam to watch while she went home and prayed God to keep her baby safe. The sun shone warm, the soft breeze blew. The water rocked the little boat. Baby Moses liked to be rocked. He fell fast asleep. Miriam hid in the bushes by the river. She watched the basket boat as it rocked to and fro on the water. But listen, someone was coming. Oh, oh, oh. It was the king's daughter and her mates coming to bathe in the river. Will she see the little boat? Will she throw baby Moses into the river? The king's daughter came closer and closer. She stopped at the river edge and pointed to the little boat. Go, she said to her maid. Go, bring the basket to me. The king's daughter raised the, raised the cover. Oh, what a lovely baby, she said. I want him for my very own. Oh, that is so sweet. Miriam came running. She made a little bow to the king's daughter. She, Shall I get a nurse for the baby? Yes, said the king's daughter. Go find a nurse to take care of the baby for me. Miriam bowed again, and then she ran home as fast as she could go. Mother, mother, come, come. The king's daughter found baby Moses. 
She, wa she wants a nurse for him. She likes our baby. She won't let anyone throw him into the river. Oh, she was so happy. Mm -hmm. Mother and Miriam hurried to the river. There stood, stood the king's daughter holding baby Moses. He was crying. He was afraid of the strange lady. Take this baby and nurse him for me. I will pay you wages, said the king's daughter. Mother held out her arms for the baby, but Moses smiled and held up his hands. The king's daughter said to mother, keep the baby for me until he's a big boy. Mother took baby Moses and started up the path. She was happy to be taking her baby home. Oh, now she wouldn't have to hide him anymore. Miriam was so happy, she skipped and sung. Baby Moses laughed and cooed. He was happy too. Father and little brother were waiting for them. Little brother jump up and down and wave. Oh, they're so happy they got their baby brother back. When all were safely in their home again, they all kneel and pray around baby Moses' cradle. Father, mother, Miriam, and little brother, thank you, God. Pray, Father. Thank you for keeping our baby safe. And that's the end of the story. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.